Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. It's 649. Welcome back to Good Day Dakota. I'm looking forward to tonight. My puffy Spider-Man Asen <laughs> can just put some long johns under and my little witch Ayla can just also put long sleeves on. I think she might be okay. She might just be fine because, yeah. you know, we've got some actually pretty comfortable temperatures for the end of October mm -hmm. for the trick-or-treating. Let's take a look at the satellite and radar right now. I do have a thin band of a little bit of a rain-snow mix that's uh, hitting the ground there and uh, from Burt County through parts of uh, Ward County around uh, Minot there. You can see moving through Sheridan and Wells County. Now this is moving to the southeast. You can see it's not expanding. There's not more where that came from. I can tell you that and uh, I'm not anticipating any accumulation at all. Now this is all a part of uh, kind of a larger northwesterly flow here. That upper level low pressure system that's to the northeast of us. You can see that flow. And also we've got kind of an impulse moving in from the northwest and there's not a lot of moisture back where that came from. So that's why once this moves to the southeast, we'll start seeing that change more into to rain because the, of course temperatures are going to warm a bit. And we're also going to see that really lose its intensity as well. 28 right now in Linton, 31 in Bismarck, 32 in uh, in Garrison there. And you can see why um, that, that band is kind of set up where we've got temperatures really around freezing, if not just above. So that's why it's going to be a little bit of a rain snow mix. Now today we've got a partly sunny afternoon. Many of us a good shot at some sunshine. Got a beautiful trick or treating forecast. See what I did there? Beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, laughing. I got some laughing back there. Thank you. A uh, cold weather pattern does have a firm grip as we head into the next work week. And in fact, it sets up as early as Friday. I'll show you that here in a second. Today, another mild day. 40s, some 50s for the south, around 50 there for the Bakken. So uh, it's not going to be too bad out there because the, the wind speeds aren't going to be strong today as well. We've got a partly sunny afternoon. Some cloud cover setting up for central North Dakota. We head into the overnight shifting this pattern here. We have lows back into the upper 20s, low 30s. And backing up here, I do want to tell you in terms of the, uh, the, the trick or treating this evening, we're talking mostly low 40s for many out there. So it's not going to be too bad. Light winds as well. Here's 6 a.m. on Thursday morning. We're going to start seeing a clipper move through. This is going to bring us a chance for some widespread, widely scattered rain here. Now, the, the, in terms of how much, in, in terms of accumulation, very little accumulation with this. And as it pushes to the east, we have a chance that we could see this change over to a rain snow mix. Wind speeds will pick up tomorrow as well. Temperatures tomorrow during the day in the 40s. Now, Friday, we get a break from this rain snow mix, and we have another slower moving system holding a little more moisture and pulling in a little cooler air for Saturday. So as we head into Friday night, we'll see that start to push in from the west. And you can see here we got a little bit of a rain snow mix there for the north. This should change over to more of a snow as we head into uh, Saturday and we could see maybe a few inches and even hints of a mix there in the afternoon. Temperatures really in the mid to upper 30s for many at this time. So I've got models that are indicating potentially two to four inches. Uh, you know, I'm still watching that. So we could still be shoveling a little bit of snow there Saturday. Lows tonight around freezing and then tomorrow cooler than today. We're continuing with our cooling trend. Lots of 40s for daytime highs tomorrow. We get into Friday upper 30s to low 40s and in fact keeping some 30s for the weekend. Here's the forecast for Minot and Williston 30s into next week. Bismarck and Dickinson upper 30s to around 40. You can see that cold weather pattern just has a firm grip as we head into the next work week. But the good news here is, um, you know, I know some folks who are kind of ready for the cold weather, mm -hmm. ready for winter, also ready for the extra hour of sleep that we'll yes, get Saturday night that's as well. What I'm looking forward you know, to. One of our camera operators mentioned, wouldn't it be nice if we got that extra hour of sleep? Oh. You know, Wednesday yeah. into uh, Thursday. Right. That's a good idea. That'd be <laughs> yeah. great. That'd be nice. We should uh, lobby our politicians about that. I don't know. <laughs> uh, when we come back on Good Day Dakota, we'll.